Hi everybody, it's Brad and Robert with Clarity and we're here with our Clarity Clip of the Week and we wanted to take some time and wrap up PubCon from last week. Robert just got back from Vegas and partying with all those crazy PubConners. Mm -hmm. uh, party? Yeah, uh, I think he was in bed by nine. But anyway, That's me. Um, we wanted to kind of wrap it up because Robert got some great information out there. We know a lot of you couldn't attend, so we wanted to wrap it up. Robert, why don't you give us like three key points that you kind of consistently heard over and over from some of the speakers. Well, everybody emphasized it's not about good content anymore. It's about great content and not volume. We're not chasing keywords and that sort of stuff anymore. We're, I hate this term, but we're chasing engagement. How long did somebody read the page? How long did they watch the video? What did they do after they watched the video or read it? Did they click a call to action? And that rankings, big rankings don't count that much anymore. You've got to have something that captures attention and that's the stress point of trying to get people's attention. Uh, and then uh, there was a discussion of video. People have been saying this for years, but everybody still believes that video is, is really gaining importance, particularly with mobile. And on mobile... Uh, Web is consumed in video. Yeah, and in and, and mobile, it has been a tsunami. And most yeah. companies are sitting out there and their websites are not mobile responsive. And uh, I heard some of the speakers talk behind the scenes about they've seen clients lose millions of dollars in sales yeah. just w went away because uh, you know we're coming today Google's just not going to display you online well online. and we run into it all the time with clients just simple yeah. little things like they might be mobile responsive they think yay we're mobile responsive and we're out there and then little simple things like the address mm -hmm. or the phone number isn't hot so if I'm out there and I'm lost and I need to find your location yeah. I can't just call you so sure but you also went to some very specific keynotes uh, guy Kawasaki Rand Fishkin Bill Hartzer we put up some stuff with guy and all, Bill last week but give us a little rundown <clears throat> of kind of what you heard from guy um, and some of the key things that you pulled out of his his talk well you know guy is he's got a one and a half million Twitter followers if you know his history he was back early with Mac with Steve Jobs yeah. uh, he's a venture capitalist he's really an online visionary and one of the things he talked about was the simple basics of personal branding yeah. and he went through a lot of great examples and, and one of the things he pointed out is that you need to have a consistent look with your avatar or headshot across all, all your social channels. that way people know when they get there. yeah and he pointed out some people have got their dog up, or a clown picture, or a, a chimp. It's Halloween, so it's pumpkins. Yeah. yeah, or a chimpanzee. And he was like, look, if somebody is going to do business with you, they're going to be looking across your social channels. They don't channels. want to do business with a chimpanzee? Right, right. I mean, you, you kill your credibility and that you're an authority. Perfect sense. Keep yeah. it simple. And then the banner photos in Facebook, heads chopped off, out of focus, dark, yeah. or just, or then the stupid stuff. I think it lends to the fact that if these people that I'm looking at potentially working with can't even take care of their own photos, yes, how could they take care of mine? And am I willing to turn over my brand yeah. to that? What about Bill? I know we talked to Bill a little bit. You had a little interview with Bill Hartzer, and, and he's kind of a guru around the, I hate well, that word too. I hate that word, but you know, Bill is probably one of the smartest people in the country on search engine optimization. Right. and. You know, Bill stressed, you know, you've got to have social to drive, bring that traffic uh, into your website, whatever you're trying to people to do. But it's also brand awareness. And everybody talked to about, ideally, what you want to happen is you want to, the search term to include your brand name. You know, that's gold. Hey. Yeah, when you're there. Ding. You know, you want, you know, Gap Blue Jeans search, that yeah. sort of stuff. Not because... If you look at the the data, and that's one of the things I like about out there, boy, these the people that are all data driven. Oh, it's huge yeah. data driven. Speaking of data driven, there was a great presentation about Google Analytics, where it said, uh, you know, Google Analytics is a lot like uh, <laughs> sex in high school. Everybody talks about it, nobody does it, <laughs> and stress, yeah, stressing the importance. Get in the back end, and what's happening on your website? Yeah, you um, you have to know. I mean, I. I just got in a conversation this morning on LinkedIn about um, so your social strategy, your website, your content, kind of it, it all kind of falls in the same thing. But um, should it be being social or should it be data driven? Well, and my comment was it has to be both. You have to be social first 
And that's what kind of gets the engagement up. There's that word again, but that's what kind of right. gets your fan passion that we used to talk about at the Cowboys a lot. But that's what gets that fan passion going. And then you use the analytics on the back end to say, this is working, this isn't working, try more of this, try more yeah. of that. What about um, anything else that you thought was really key for, for folks to know out there? Um, I know you talked a lot about the importance of what you heard out there was that like, all this stuff has to work together. It's no longer you can just put up SEO and your website ranks. No. Tell us a little bit about what you heard about more about how it all has to kind of blend now. Yeah, you need a holistic approach. Uh, and you need to be measuring all this, but you, you really need to sit down and, and lay out a strategy of what do, what do I want to happen? You need to sit down and understand what are my goals and objectives first. And then where is the audience online? that I can reach, that help can get me there, and then how do I measure them? What channel I speak to? How do I talk to them? We call that audience, audience speak, speak. But, but how do I start that, that conversation? And by the way, one of the, one of the speakers was talking about, you know, when your brand and someone is asking you something on Twitter or making a great comment about you or f Facebook, you need to jump in there right then and there yeah, while they're in, live. Yeah, you have their attention. And that will do your brand worlds of good because they're going to talk about, oh, wow, you know, I heard from them. They, yeah. they did this. And, you know, we run into uh, businesses that, that just kind of sit back and watch and don't understand. Social yeah. is a conversation. That's the value of it. That's how you build your brand awareness. It's not a monologue. No. And, it's it, you know, there is not a direct ROI, but people are showing how, you know, you can use promo codes and stuff like that. And one of the other major things people are talking about on social is that Zuckerberg has got to, you know, he's got to take care of those investors. And it more and more is becoming pay to play. Yeah. If you have a big following on um, Facebook, and it's headed this way with Twitter, you're going to have to, you're going to have to pay to reach them now. To reach more. I saw some very smart strategies about how people are watching their organic post. And when they see one start to take hold, that's when you bump it up. That's when they bump it. Correct. Yeah. Then that gets. That's them. back to being social first. Yes. Using the analytics to measure yeah. it and say, here's here's one that's working. Yeah. Let's go ahead and boost yeah. that post. And so Twitter and Facebook far far more economical by for a, a business than uh, Google and the PPC world has become so competitive, yeah. but. Um, you know, I saw a number of case studies there of people having great success. I saw somebody boost a popular post on Facebook for $50, <laughs> and they ended up on NBC Absolutely. Live. They ended up on being mentioned in multiple uh, mainstream news channels. Once you get channels. that news done, it's... Yeah, and you want yeah. that because, uh, you know, Google sees those and Bing sees those as authority domains, so they're, they're going to push your website up uh, and everything you're doing as a result. But that's the way you got to think. Don't just sit there and cook up an ad. Yeah. Do your organic stuff, be creative, and then see what works. And in seeing what works, Guy Kawasaki, and we've got it. There's an interview with him, I did with him on our YouTube channel. His big thing was, guys, experiment. They're really not yeah. aren't necessarily right set answers. The audiences are different. Your product or services are different. You must get in there and experiment and start start seeing what works, what really what what is taking hold in Facebook. Now, and you're not going to understand it if you don't look at the back end. You don't know. Oh, you know, we work with businesses that don't even know what in Facebook Insights is. Yeah. So you have to see what, what's happening, what grab people's attention. And I guess all this comes back to attention, attention, attention. Yeah. That's what everybody is struggling with. You're all trying to catch those. They're, they're doing this. Yeah. You know, they're swiping yeah. through your social feed. So. And that's where the pictures yeah. that we talk about consistently, yeah. the pictures that you post, trying to trigger them more with the picture than just the yeah. text because they're, they're not going to see it. And our friend uh, Bill Hartzer talked about a client uh, that he was dealing with the fallout from it then. Good fallout in that uh, it's a company called Evermind, evermind.com. Go take a look. They, they did a wine label, uh, and I'm not going to yeah, give it away. Smart. You need to go look at it. The, and, and the yeah, wine smart. label ended up mentioned on Reddit, big social sharing network. 
And that then, they, they found themselves on the Today Show. They found themselves uh, then mentioned in mainstream media across the world. Yeah. And then there was a little controversy percolated. The Today Show tried to stir <laughs> things up, and all that did was help them drive traffic. So, Absolutely. So much so that their, their website was crashing about every five minutes. Wouldn't you like to have press it? Press is press. Yeah. But again, that website crashing every five minutes? You know, if you're you're in a business, you really need to backstop yourself with the right technology so that does not happen in case something catches fire that you've got doing. Yeah, because so, you never know. Yeah, you're protected. So that because that's a miss business. Yeah. Well, that's our wrap up of PubCom with Robert and Brad with our Clarity Clip of the Week. Thank you. See you guys.